find the equation of the line with the given slope that passes through the given point. Write the equation in the form ax plus by equals c. The slope given is 6, and it passes through the point 2 comma 2. So I'm going to start out by writing this with my y equals mx plus b format. I have my m, I have my x, and I have my y, which leaves me only with b to find out. So we have y equals, so 2 equals, m, 6, times x, times 2, plus b. Straightening it up, simplifying each side. 2 can't be simplified. 6 times 2, I can do that. I get 12 plus b. Solving this, I subtract the 12 from one side to the other. Now I have negative 10 equals b. So writing this as y equals mx plus b, this becomes y equals 6x minus 10. This is the easier way to do this, is if we could stop right there, we would be done. However, they are telling us to write it as ax plus by equals c. So that means that I have to change this format into that format. So I'm just going to copy this down over here. y equals 6x minus 10. I want to have both my x term and my y term on the same side of the equal sign. So I see that I need to move this 6x over to the other side of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract that, minus 6x. What I do on one side of the equal sign, I do on the other. Now I have negative 6x, and this is a positive y, so plus y. 6x and 6x cancel out because it's being subtracted there equals negative 10. There is my answer. That question is done. Find the equation of the line. Slope is negative 8 and it goes through the point negative 1 comma negative 5. Before I start throwing my numbers into my equations, I label my x comma y so that I don't get mixed up as far as which one is which. Now I take my three numbers, put them into my equation. y equals, so I see y is negative 5, that's where I start. m m is negative 8 times x, x is negative 1, plus b. Can't simplify this side any. I can simplify this by multiplying those two together. So I have negative 5 equals Negative times negative is positive. 8 times 1 is 8. And I carry down my plus b. Solving for b, subtract the 8. 
What I do on one side of the equal sign, I do the same thing on the other. Negative 5 minus 8, negative 13 equals B. I'm going to rewrite my equation, but I'm going to write it in that form first. So Y equals M negative 8 X plus B. Well, B is a negative number, so instead of saying plus negative 13, I'm just going to say minus 13. This is not in the right format. I have to take it another step. So we have the y equals negative 8x minus 13. I want both my x's and my y's on the same side of the equal sign. So I need to pick up this minus 8x and I need to move it to the other side. So I'm going to add 8x. What I do on one side of the equal sign, I do the same on the other. I want my x's to be first, so I have 8x. The y is understood to be positive because there's no negative sign there. So plus y equals minus 8 plus 8 cancels out. X's cancel with it, and I bring down my minus 13. And it magically becomes negative 13. This now looks like AX plus BY equals C. So now I have my answer. Find the equation of the line. Write it in AX plus BY equals C form. Slope is negative one half goes through the point negative 3 comma 0. Again, we're going to start out with y equals mx plus b. So we need to identify our x comma y. Then I just plug my numbers in where they belong in the equation. So y equals 0 equals m negative 1 half times x times negative 3 plus b. Stays as plus b because I don't know what b is yet. Multiply negative one half times negative three gives me positive three halves. Carry down the rest of the equation. Subtract the 3 halves over. Zero minus 3 halves is negative 3 halves. And that equals B. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug that in along with M into my equation over there, leaving Y and X as Y and X. So y equals m negative one half x x stays x plus b there's b it's negative three halves so I'm going to make that minus three halves if I'm allowed to stop there I'm done but they want it in this format so I have to go another step. I'm going to add the one-half x to the other side of the equal sign. So now I have one-half x plus y equals negative three-halves. And there's my answer.